again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 30th of January, 2019. The article was published on January the 30th, 2019. You know, I actually remember this when it took place way back when. Title, I Survived the Serial Killer, How a Woman Escaped After Being Beaten, Bound, and Stuffed in a Trunk. At 19, Jennifer Aspenson survived an attack by a serial killer, Andrew Yardalis. Written by Christine Pelisk, that's P-E-L-I-S-E-K. On a September night in 1992, Jennifer Aspenson was in a panic. The California 19-year-old had missed her bus and was worried she'd lose her job at a home for disabled children. When a man pulled up in a light-colored sedan and offered her a ride, she was slightly hesitant, but accepted. I thought to myself, this is a godsend, Emerson, now 45, tells people. Sizing up the man's physical appearance comforted her further. I could totally beat this guy up if he did anything weird, she recalls thinking. The man drove her to her night shift and then invited her to have breakfast with him the following morning. But she was uninterested, so she gave him a fake number. Still, when she finished work, the man was in the car outside and offered her a ride home, which she accepted. Quote, I didn't feel fear from him because he didn't do anything the night before, she says. She would regret that decision. What followed was a night of terror that haunted her for decades and is the focus of the following episode of People Magazine Investigates. The episode, titled Monster in the Desert, airs Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Investigation Discovery. An exclusive clip is shown above. This happened, if I'm not mistaken, in the Palm Springs area. Unbeknownst to Evanson, she'd gotten in the car with serial killer Andrew Yardalis, an ex-U.S. Marine who had already killed four California women. Less than two blocks away, he exploded into anger over the fake telephone number she'd given him, slamming her head into the dashboard and driving her to a remote desert spot where he attempted to sexually assault her. At one point, Evanson was able to wrestle free from his grasp and ran away, but she didn't get far before he grabbed her by the hair and shoved her inside the trunk before driving off. Evanson, whose hands had been bound, knew if she stayed in the trunk, she would die. Then I just got hysterical strength, she recounts. She broke her hands free and unlatched the trunk. When the car stopped, she jumped out. Sprinting down the middle of the road, she looked back and saw Eurydalus swinging a machete above his head, chasing her. It was like I was in a horror movie, she says. But she spotted a passing truck and flagged it down. Two Marines in the truck brought her to a gas station where she called police. Eurydalus went on to kill four more women in Illinois and California before he confessed to a total of eight killings. Evanson was left to grapple with her trauma which she has chronicled in a memoir titled The Girl in the Treehouse, a memoir due out on January 29th. And while her memories of that fateful encounter bring a host of emotions, she says, I feel very lucky to be alive. You'll see a photograph of this insane homicide that murdered innocent women. I'll attach the link, you look at it, pass it along to your like-minded friends. Thanks for listening.